The first step in making this little button bag by hand is that we are going to press down one of these short sides. Now we're working with the right side down, the wrong side up, and we're going to press down these two short ends. So we're going to, we're trying to clean finish or make this edge like um, all nice and so that it's not frayed. So you're going to take your seam gauge and you're going to set it to three eighths of an inch and you're going to put the um, edge of the fabric down at three eighths of an inch and press it down. Then you're going to turn it again and just turn it right on the edge of that piece of fabric which will make it right at three eighths of an inch again and then you're going to put some pins in there so that we can sew it. I'm going to put them this way so it won't catch maybe as easily on our thread but it still will catch. Okay, then we're going to turn it around, and on the other side, we're only going to turn it down once because we're doing a different thing on this side. So we're going to pull it back, push it to three-eighths of an inch, and press it down just one time. So one side you do twice, one side you do once, and you're going to steam it so it'll stay down. And that one we can just leave pressed. This one we need, one, the double one, we need to pin. Then we're going to move from there over here sit down and stitch this up by hand. So I'm going to work with blue thread. You use thread that kind of matches if you've got it. I've already tied a knot in it. I'm using with, I'm using a single, a single thread. So my short ends up here and as I stitch, then I can use up that short end. So I'm going to come over here and underneath, underneath the fold, I'm going to come up and hide my knot in the fold. Then I'm going to make really small little stitches and I'm going to do that ladder stitch to sew these two together. And I'm going to run it in the fold on this side. It's kind of a variation of the ladder stitch. You're going to run your, your uh, needle in the fold on the folded side and then on the flat side that's not folded, you're going to just take a tiny little stitch because this is going to show on the outside. So you're going to take a tiniest stitch you can that just goes under a couple of threads and then you're going to come back up and run it in the fold. The ladder stitch has two folds. This just has one fold. And this is how you hem pants and hem dresses and if you're doing it by hand. And then you grab just a little teeny stitch on the, on the outside fabric that's going to show on the outside of your bag. And then you run your needle in the fold without having a little trouble. It doesn't have a very good point there. So. Okay, there. And run it in the fold, and you can make these stitches a little farther apart, like a quarter inch, so that you're not digging into the front fabric very often. And then I'm going to pull it up. So there's just going to be a little stitch about every quarter inch all the way along there and you go back in the same right next to the where you came out so that you hide the stitches in the fold and you come and do another little stitch and come up and stitch in the fold and then I'm going to take a little tiny couple of thread bite on the out on the opposite side on the fabric that's at the front and then I'm going to run through the fold. Now I've got that done so I can take that pin out. And then a bite. And as you go, see how I'm using the blue thread and you can hardly see it because I'm hiding it in the fold. You can only see it every once in a while. And then I'm going down here, take a little tiny stitch and then through the fold. This pin's getting in my way. 
And if you press it down good, then when you only have a little bit left, you can sometimes you could just hold on to that fabric and you won't have any trouble and it won't have to be pinned. I'm running it in the fold, taking a little bit bigger stitcher because I'm trying to hurry so that you don't have to be waiting for me for so long on the video. Okay, then when you get that all done, you're going to tie it off at the end. And I'm just going to stop right there and go to the next step. And I'll finish this after the video is off so you can see the next step. Then the next step, you're going to take this, you're going to turn it wrong side down. And you're going to fold down the top. That's going to be the flap for this little button bag. And you're going to fold the bottom. And you want the flap to be shorter than the pocket. Now this is going to be a little bag that you can put your ear headphones or jewelry or something in. So you want the bottom part to be bigger than the top part. So you can just estimate it and then fold it down and see if that looks good because you've got to put a little buttonhole right here. So that's going to be about a perfect size. So we're going to fold these down. And it's about, let's measure it so you know how much it is. Because this is the same size piece that I gave you guys. It's like 11 and a half by 4, this piece of fabric. And then this is 3 inches. And this side is a little more than 2 inches, like 2 and a quarter, 2 and an eighth. So you're going to butt it up so that these two match perfectly, these two little finished sides that you did. And you're going to put pins in this. You're going to pin it down. And then you're going to butt that one up really tight to it. And you're going to pin this down. And this is after you finish this part. I'm just going to go back and finish that after we stop the video. And you're going to pin this down. And then you're going to pin it down on this side. And once you get this all pinned down, you're ready and you're matching these sides exactly. Then you're ready to do the next step and we'll need a new thread and we're gonna back stitch these two together at a quarter inch. So that's the next step. So there you go.